Hello. Welcome. I'm back. I'm alive. I'm here. Did you miss me? Probably not. You're probably actually wondering who is this guy I'm subscribed to and why did I subscribe to him? Well, you're about to find out. Because I'm back. Like I just previously previously said. Um, so obviously it's been a long time since I've uh, made a video and uploaded a video and, and, and all this and all that and this and that and this. The reason... I'm not going to go into into too much detail, um, just because that that's going to be for a future video. But the reason is because um, I moved from Denver, Colorado, to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, been really busy with that. Obviously, um, there was like a month in Colorado where um, I didn't have internet, um, so obviously I couldn't upload videos then. And then there was three months here in New Mexico when I didn't have internet. Um, because I was looking for a job, starting my job, um, getting enough money to um, purchase internet, and then I had to wait a month to get internet because I gave them the wrong address. Which, um, for future uh, future thought, if you ever order internet, do not give them the wrong address. Uh, it's it's a pain. But we're back, and um, since you last saw me, um, I know that I, I did upload a video about this, but it's. It was before the server released, so um, since I've been gone, I have been running, owning, um, taking care of a server called Six Side Server, um, which is a unique, well, semi-unique um, multiplayer server that is mostly vanilla, um, and uh, just just a group of great people that play on there. Um, we always have a lot of fun with each other. Um, a lot of good dynamics, and um, I believe, um, as of this time, I haven't really thought this out too much, but I believe at this time that 90% um, of my future videos are going to be on the Six Side server, because that's where I want to spend um, all the free time that I have to play Minecraft. That's where I want to spend it, is on that server, just because the um, people that are on there have spent so much time and given so much to the server, um, <coughs> excuse me, that I feel that... Uh, I owe them at least that to, um, you know, kind of uh, be a, as much a part of that as I absolutely can, because um, lately I have not been a part of that um, much at all, simply because I have been so busy, um, haven't had internet, all that type of stuff. So, today's video, we are going to explore the server. I'm going to show you guys everything about the server. <coughs> God, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to show you everything about the server. Um... And uh, yeah, so here is the server tour. Um, I'm not sure on the exact number of members at this time. I believe it's about a, a dozen or so. And I left that door open naturally. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. So this is a spawn area. Um, you have probably seen the, well, if you're subscribed, which there's not many of you out there, but if you are subscribed, you have probably seen the... Um, video of me announcing my drunk live cast um, which took place here on the server um, it was actually when the server was first being built so this obviously if you saw that video this has changed a lot um, the shape is all the same the color scheme the design is all different and it is a million times better than what I had first built um, it's brighter it's it's more inviting it's just a wonderful place so Let's get started. Here we have Beginner's Enchanting and the Potion Room. So the Beginner's Enchanting is the actually the first um, mechanical enchanting room that I have ever built in Minecraft. I, I've built several since, um, but this was the very first one. I, not even in single player, not even before I was uploading videos was I, or did I ever make a... Um, a mechanical enchanting room. So now it it's not really necessary now that the um, leveling system has changed because this was made back when you had to get 50 levels, um, and so you you kind of spent spent those wisely. You know when you did get 50 levels, you probably weren't going to um, enchant all 50 into one item because it took so damn long. Um, but this is um, what I built. Um, you can take off the top, which would lower the leveling. And like I said, I don't know if this still works with the new leveling system. I haven't tested it. Um, but yeah, so you can change how many levels you are going to put into an item um, simply by flipping these switches, which 
is um, abundantly um, helpful and, and convenient when you are um, actually in need of that instead of placing torches or, or whatever other weird methods people have for doing that. So that's the enchanting room. Um, let's go in here. Here is our potions room. Um, on this server, anything in the spawn area is for everybody to use. Um, you know, obviously, I would ask that if you come in and you use some of this stuff, um, you would, when you have the ability, bring some stuff back. Um, so, all of these used to have, uh, you know, the full top row of 64 stack of all these items. Um, but you have your base, your modifiers, um, just kind of some extra stuff, six brewing stands. For these stupid cauldrons, I put these in here. Because I didn't realize that when you pull water out of them, they actually um, empty. I thought it was like a uh, endless water supply where it just it never empties out. Um, so these are never going to be used. I hate these things. Um, but yes, you have all these items here. Um, anyways, that's potion room. Enough said. So let's go on to the next area over here. Let's see, this is, okay, so these were stolen, well not stolen, um, the design was stolen by, uh, let's see, well I built them because a member on the server, weird, um, a member on the server um, suggested that I watch the, I think it was on Hermitcraft that somebody had built these um, and suggested that we add those to the, the spawn area here. Um, what they are are just ingenious um, pumpkin and melon farms. So the the pumpkins or melons, we have the melon one over there, um, they, they grow inside here and then there's pistons set up all the way up to the top that when you press the button it will um, harvest all of the pumpkins or melons and drop them off in the middle here. Um, so that's probably one of the coolest melon and, and pumpkin designs I've, I've ever seen. Um, so we have the pumpkin one here and the melon one over here. Same exact thing, um, just different item. And we have not finished these rooms. Um, obviously there's no roofs to them and then the inside is really bare and, and plain. So those aren't finished but uh, you can use those if you need the need the items. Alright, so let's go through here. Oh yeah, so these aren't used anymore. I'll explain those later. Um, these holes are not used any longer. Um, so, oh yes, um, first off, give a shout out to the people who helped me build this originally back in the day, um, Bumpy, Ulrich, Red Rocker, and Tyrone the Pimp. Um, so over here we have the villager trading post, which is an idea I know, so the idea that we, or the person that we got the idea from was Doc M. Um, I know he wasn't the first one to actually come up with it. But what it is, now we don't have a villager loaded into it at this time, but usually you would have a villager loaded into this cart up here. Um, and then while he is up there, these villagers down here are going to breed. Um, and then what you can do, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do this right. Yes, so you can, that pushes the... Oh, so it is still broken. So usually that would push that cart down to the bottom, which I don't believe it did. No, I pushed it right back up. So usually I would push that cart down there and then make that water start. Um, and what that does is pushes these guys toward this little window here, and then you can trade with them. Um, not really operational at this time, but that's okay. Is that a hole? No, okay. Um, so that's our little villager trading post. Uh, this is our wheat farm. Um, so this is essentially the same exact way as when I first built the server. Um, again, it's public use. There's not supposed to be this hole here. Interesting. Although this keeps breaking for some reason. Um, I don't think it's broken in a while. I think I might have fixed it, but it, it was breaking quite often to where things were just disappearing. Um, it was weird. Anyways, um, so this is the wheat farm. Obviously it you know has an automatic harvest button. Um, click the button and it will 
cause water to come down, um, and the water stays down until you hit it again, and then it stops. And I believe you get, let's see if I can count this out really quick, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35 times four would be, uh, wait, what did I just say, 35? Yeah, 35 times 4, 140, I believe. Yeah, so 140, give or take. I could have done that math way wrong. It's actually 2.30 in the morning right now. So, um, but it's about, you know, it's a lot. You get a lot of wheat just for harvesting this once. Um, you know, have some wheat up there, seeds, and out of bone meal, sadly. Um, but again, um, everything that's in the spawn area is for the members to use um, at their will and, and take as they need. So um gets used a lot, or at least it used to. I would say I used to use it a lot until I built my barn, which you will see here in a moment. Um, over here we have the boardwalk, which I will show last. And this is not a player's trading post right now. Um, so this is going to be changed completely. Well, not completely. Um, this down here is going to be changed completely. This up here is kind of just like in a little observation deck that we have in place. Um, eventually, we want to make this into a place where you can actually trade with other people, um, have chests or, or something to where you would drop off items and pick up items. But it's a nice observation deck. Let's go ahead and stop this here really quick. Okay. So, just a nice little observation deck um, that you can look out at the server. Nice little spawn area. Um, you can look down, obviously. You know, just nice little area. You get the point. I should stop talking about this. Um, but down there is the boardwalk. So, let's go and check that out. That's definitely the um, most essential part to the spawn area is the boardwalk. Um, and I will show you why in just a moment. So when I say that the server is semi-vanilla, what I mean is that there are really no mods that will... Uh, how do I put this? There's no mods that are going to add anything to the game except for this magical, magical, magical um, plugin called Lapis Portals. So as you can see, we have Lapis Blocks, and these are portals. Now, if you have never heard of Lapis Portals, what it is, is you make one of these, and I believe one of these has an expo- yes, actually it's mine that has it. So you make one of these, and you have an exposed, or you have a chest, and you put items in the chest. Now you make another one of these with these same items in the chest, and they link. So you walk in one, you come out, is that? No. There's string here for some reason. Probably another one of those dastardly pranks. Um... But yeah, so you, you walk into one, close the door, and you pop out the other. So um, let me show you the rest of like the main boardwalk area, and then we'll, we'll explore out of here. Now, something happened when the server updated to 1.4. All the half slabs over in this area disappeared. Um, so that hasn't been fixed. So this should, whoop, see, and it's... They might actually still be there. Well, I guess maybe they didn't all. Something weird happened when I converted this to 1.4. Um, but So this area is just where um, all along the boardwalk I have members making just little houses just to kind of decorate. They're not used by anybody. Um, little houses. This one, I'm not going to say who built it just because I don't know 100% and I don't want to give... Um, a credit to the wrong person, but so different members build these houses. This is the one I built right here. Got a garage, um, and I believe that the conversion also messed up the inside. It's fairly basic, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, do have the cheaty lamps? You have to. On um, little inlet couches, which don't look as nearly as good as I had hoped. There used to be paintings on the walls down here I thought. Here's a door into the garage which has nothing. You know it's really just a shell um, just to look nice from the outside. Come up here just have a nice little area little closet um, 
little master bedroom up here. Got another closet in the bedroom. And a deck. And then if you go into the backyard, let's jump down here. So if you go into the backyard, got a nice little hot tub. Got a basketball court in case you need to shoot some hoops. Nice little area. Nice nice little inviting house here on the boardwalk. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then if you did watch the live stream that I did, which if you go to Twitch TV, well no, twitch.tv slash mindmycraft, it, it is still up there. Um, so say, yes, um, Bumpy and Red built this during that time. And this is a huge replica of my skin. So if we look at myself here, oops. Uh, let's take off that helmet here. Uh, we can take it all off. So if you look at my skin, God damn it. God damn it. Yeah. So it's a very large scale replica of me, um, which was unbelievably nice um, of them to do that, to take the time to uh, build that scale myself. Anyways, let's stop being an egotistical maniac. Um, over there, there's a cheaty sand generator. I don't remember who built that. Um, I personally don't use it. It actually looks like it's been taken apart. Yeah, it looks like somebody scavenged it. Um, interesting. Um, but yeah, that used to be a, a cheaty sand generator. The hell are you doing up there, guy? Um, so, anyways, anyways, I'm getting distracted here. Already on to 16 minutes, and I'm already distracted. All right. So, lapis portals. This is the boardwalk. As you can see, there's a lot of portals on the boardwalk. Each of these go to a different location. The ones down here, uh, there's a couple back here that that do other things too. But the ones down here go to um, Spleef Arena and Pit Frenzy. Um, Pit Frenzy is made by Seth Bling. Um, I imported that onto the map just because I wanted to have um, some games on here for people to play, and I'll, I'll show you those as well. And the Spleef Arena is just a uh, custom Spleef Arena that we had built um, when the server was first being made. And then beyond that, it's mostly players. Like there's myself, the Amazing Monk, uh, Monk D, Burn my ch wait, what did I just say? Churn my butter, not burn my whatever the hell I was saying. Um, battery, I'm Usher, you know, down the line. Just all of the members on the server have their own portal. So first, let's check out the game area. Um, we'll go into the Spleef Arena one. So, as you can see, it teleported us here. Now this is the boardwalk. Um, and here is... Pit Frenzy. This is the one that Seth Bling built. I'm not going to go into the details of the game. You can look that up on YouTube. There's you know, a lot of videos of people playing it as well as the official video by Seth Bling himself. But there that is. Um, then you follow the road. Now on the right is a game that I built. Um, if you go on the minecraftforums.net um, you can grab yourself a download of this. Um, I'll show that to you in a second. This is the Spleef Arena. Um, I think it's been changed quite a... No, actually, I don't think it has been changed too much. Um, but you come in, you have you know stands up and down. Um, that I mean, that's it. If you don't know what a Spleef Arena is, that's another thing. You just go ahead and look it up. We do have our own concession stand. Um, so if you want to buy some food, there you go. Um, then over on this door over here is where the players enter or the staff. Um, you have the rules of the game. You have, we used to have wool in here, um, but we changed it to shovels. Um, so that's, or we used to have wool, but we changed it to snow. That's why there's shovels and, and shears. Here's the inside of the concession stand. Um, you know, all that, all that jazz. You understand. I, th I feel like I'm explaining stuff too much. You're not stupid. This is how you obviously enter. I don't want to fall down there because that would suck a lot. All right, so that is the Spleef Arena. So now I'm going to go over. I'm going to try to keep this brief. Um, I could make, and I probably will make in the future, a, an entire video on this game that I built. Damn lighting glitch. Um, 
But yeah, this is a game I built. It's called um, Triple Threat. It's a 2v2 game. Um, and of course, I had to make the sign light up. And so, after it follows the chain... Oh, it might be too far. What is going on? Why you, why you no work? Why you no work? You're killing my, my frame rate, but you're not actually lighting up. So anyways, I'm supposed to flash. I'm supposed to blink and, and flicker and, and all crazy jazzness. I might have actually turned it off and it was already on. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, so this is where you enter. Um, it's two versus two. Um, it's three stages, hence the name Triple Threat. Oh, I also have these in here. Sounds like I also have some mobs running around in here somewhere, which I would not be surprised about. Um, but yeah, so here's all the rules. Like I said, I'm not going to go into all this. The reset button, which I'm so proud of. Like, I'm not, like, I, I know basic redstone. I don't know um, all that, that crazy stuff. And, and building a button that reset the entire game took me much, much longer than it probably should have. Um, so I'm not going to take you through the entire game, but I'll at least show you what the start looks like. Uh, I guess there's really no point. There's not much. Whoa, what is going on here? Um, I don't like that. Is that... I don't think I've ridden in a cart since 1.4. Is that a glitch in the game or the server? I'll figure that out later. Don't, a don't answer that question. Get over there. So this is where you would start. Um, oh, this... This... They're open. What? Somebody's been playing. Um, so yeah, so you would... Each team presses this button, which signifies that you're ready. Usually this light is off until you press the button, but since they're already open, it's on. Um, so you'd press the button, your light comes on. When the other team presses their button... Um, the doors will open and you can start playing. The first stage is a maze. I'm not going to take you through it all. Like I said, we'll make that for another video. Um, but there's three stages in the game. There's the maze, which is where you have one player in the maze, one player up top. Um, the player up top can see the maze and helps the other player get through it, but the maze has doors. And the player up top also has a set of... I'm trying to think of how many. I want to say about 20 levers. Um, and they have to figure out what combination of le levers will open up the doors for their teammate. Um, get through that part and you're going to enter into a shooting range, which is um, you have to hit a wooden pressure, pressure plate with a bow and arrow. And then once you do that, you get to open up into the third stage, which is PvP. And that's where um, each team finally meets for the, for the first time and gets to destroy each other. So, let's go ahead and start exploring um, a little bit more of the server. So this is the spawn area. This is mostly all that's here. Um, but let's go ahead and start exploring people's um, bases here. I'm not going to go through everybody. I'm just going to go through a couple. Um, the first one is going to be mine. Now, because that block's there, it might not work. But we'll find out. Oh, uh, that's what I thought. Somebody must have needed... Actually, I wonder why that was broken down. I don't know. So, let me just take you home this way. So, this is my base. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I spent more time on the outside than the inside. Um, this is where you would come through if that... Um, if the portal was, was working. So, you would come in here. Let me set this as day... Whoops, that's not how I do that. Um, so you come here. Over here we have a guest bedroom. Um, so guest bedroom. I don't, oh, yeah, I have all my records in here. Nice little record player. Play some sweet tunes. Um, lighting does work, but I don't turn it off because then mobs spawn in here. Uh, so you have the guest bedroom. Here is my little enchanting room. Um, it's not automated because now with the new system and mob grinders and all that, it's I, it's 30 every time. Um, and just to give you an idea of, of how much I've played, so these two chests in here are all the items I don't want. Um, they're enchantments that I got that I didn't like. And I let everybody come in here and take what they want, especially when somebody first joins the server. Um, I always bring them here so that way they can 
um, kind of dig through it as they wish and take what they want. So this is stuff I don't want. Oh, I guess it hasn't been hit up pretty good. So this used to be almost full. It's mostly just boots now. Protection 4. See, those, I mean, good boots. Um, but I don't wear them if they don't have feather falling. That's why the, those are all there. Um, then a bunch of sharpness 4. Fire aspect, knockback, smite, sharpness, knockback, sharpness, knockback, sharpness, smite. You know, it's it's not bad stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's look at that. I'm breaking three efficiency, efficiency three. That's that's pretty good. But I don't use it. That I would use. Oh, it's already it's beat up. That's why it's in here. Um. But yeah. And so if you come through here, you know, just a simple. Oh yeah, another room that has all the lights that work. Again, never turn them off. Um, but if you come down here, now this I do want to clean up eventually. Um, I don't want you to be able to see all this wiring, but I kind of just threw this together after I'd built my base. Um, so you come down here and you have my... Ah, oh, the prank spread down here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, and they did something to my wiring. So I got pranked a while ago. Um, you'll see that once we go outside. I haven't cleaned it up. It's They turned me into a mushroom biome. Usually this would be a wheat farm. Flip this, lights go out, which breaks all the wheat. And they got rid of my water. Damn it. Usually lights go out, which breaks the wheat. Water comes down, that pushes it, yada yada. Ah, oh, those bastards. Um, <laughs> it was a really good prank, don't get me wrong, but I'm getting tired of seeing mushroom biome stuff. Um, so let's go up here. This is my, um, storage room. God, I hope they didn't do nothing in here. Okay, good. So this is my storage room. Um, pretty basic. Uh, you know, I have it fairly organized. These, this row of chests down here, most of them don't have anything. And if they do, it's probably not organized because I added this in fairly recently. Um... But yeah, so I have had to ex add extra for all my stone, and you'll see why here in just a minute. Um, but yeah, so I have it all organized. I f no, that should be right. So I just hope people aren't here in here taking my stuff. Damn it! It doesn't. I I think I've only seen it happen once on this server where somebody had things stolen. But I always think about it. So yeah, I have all of my stuff in here. My coal try to keep all of these stocked with coal. Actually, it looks like I need to I'm gonna put this on so that stops happening. I need to uh, restock these, but you know, I have my my furnaces, um, see leaves. Got a little bit of food up in here. Weapons and armor, ender balls, all the all the all the necessary stuff. That's my miscellaneous chest. Um, so yeah, that's my storage room. Now let's go upstairs to the master bedroom, which I don't spend too much time in. Um, but this is my master bedroom. Yeah, fairly basic. Um, you know, do have one of these things. This is where I keep all my diamonds and my emeralds. As you can see, I, uh, I mean, this uh, this server's been open for. Oh, six, seven months, maybe more. Um, and I, um, you know, w once I got my uh, experience collection kind of toggled and, and, and fixed up to where I was always enchanting with level 30, um, I only mine with a, a Fortune 3 pick. And so that's why I have so many diamonds. Um, and plus... You know, throughout the the course of this video series, you will see just how many places I've I've been in mind. But so ignore all the mushroom stuff. This isn't supposed to be here. Uh, let's see who did do this. Ah, uh, the amazing monk, uh, amazing builder. We'll we'll go to his castle here after this, and you'll see just how phenomenal he is at building. Um, bastard. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he pranked me. So all this mushroom stuff isn't supposed to be here. But this is the outside. I wanted it to be like a jungle ruin looking thing. Um, these are all wired up. Not really, you know, it doesn't have a point because I don't ever turn them off. But but they're there. Um, here's my broken uh, 
it is supposed to look broken, by the way. That wasn't a prank. Um, it's my broken boathouse. So I have those boats there. I don't know if this is stocked, but when you walk over here, yeah, it's not stocked. It'll put a boat in the water for you. So that's my little my little boat dock. I need to go fill that thing up here in a bit. Um, so yeah, this is the outside of my house. This is another prank that I never cleaned up. Um, I can't remember how they, d oh, they did it to where when I walked outside, the duck, or the chicken, I should say, opened up and a bunch of chickens fell out. Um, so there were, used to be chickens running around everywhere. I actually refixed it because I, I kind of like having this here. Um, I, I can't remember who built it, but it's, it's very well done. And so I, you know, fixed up the hole and, and I've kept it here, the Stupid, stupid, stupid mushroom biome stuff will be taken out eventually. But as you can see, it's pretty god darn extensive. Um, so this is the barn I built. It's going to get loud, possibly. And it might start lagging, but this is my barn. Um, again, very basic. Did I kill you guys or did somebody come in here and murder my cast? Yeah, whatever. So here's my cows. Usually this is, there's a lot more. My cows, my pigs. Come up here, you have the chickens and my sheeps. I am going to um, make a new sheep farm, like just by itself, because I'm already out of sheep to color, and I want to have every color. Um, see, these are the colors that I do have. Yeah, and I'm missing a few of them so I'm gonna have to build I'm, I've thought about so this used to be split in half and half between chickens and sheep and then obviously I made the chicken side smaller um, and I feel that even if I made the whole top part sheep it wouldn't be big enough um, for all the sheep that I need so I'm gonna have to build something just for them anyways that's is everything to show on my base at this current time except I do want to show you the project so I'm working on a new underground um, Nebris Etho mix type base um, it's nowhere near completion this is this is going to be months of work to get this complete um, but over here, I'm building an underground base that is going to be huge. So, like, right now, let's see. I believe, just off of guesstimation, um, the end of my base is about where the sand is. And I know what you're thinking to yourself. That's, that's crazy. That's way too big. Watch this. This has been taking me way too much time. Um, this is where I've, like, I've spent probably the last dozen times I've been on the server have been 100% spent down in this hole. And this is it. Oh, I still have it blocked off for mobs. So, this is what I've been working on. Eventually, this is all going to get dug out. What is this? Ah, nice. We've had oh I told him to take that that's that's very generous of him um, so eventually so the outside perimeter is done um, and then eventually it's going to go this deep that's right so all the way around it's gonna be that deep um, I don't really have any specific um, look in mind in terms of, of what I'm doing. I kind of just on the whim decided I'm going to build a huge underground base. And so I just started digging. Um, and then once I got the outline done, um, I was like, I definitely want to go um, down to diamond level. And so that's what I did. And so I started over here, which is why there's this big square. 
Um, you know, after I got all the this surrounding done, I dug all the way down to the level I wanted, one row at a time, until I got this much done. You can tell I got, you know, a little one more sliver over there. Um, looks like I got another sliver there, and then I kind of just did a box, um, and then I dug it all the way down to that end. That way, I can kind of see how long it's going to be, but so now I've stopped going down like you can even see right here I was going down um, kind of in one section I've stopped just going straight down next one down and I've started doing what I'm doing over there I've been digging over here um, and I've been doing a mix of TNT and just digging um, I don't really like using TNT because it leaves a lot of stray blocks that I find more difficult to take out than um, leaving it flat and so what I've been doing is I'll just dig down you know, I'll just dig a block down and then I'll just go around the in entire length of one level um, until I get to the other side, come back and do it again. And that's what I've been doing on this side. Um, I haven't started, well, I mean, I did start, but I haven't been digging on that side as much because I want to get half of this done and then get that other half done. Um, and then you can see my makeshift stairs to get up and down. At least that's what I was, a so that's what I first had. And went all the way up to where I was, and then I built um, this actual staircase over here just because it seemed easier. And plus, I have to dig all of this out anyway, so I figured, eh, might as well do that. So I dig out, dug out that little staircase. Um, the amount of cobblestone I've gotten from this is so ridiculous. I don't know how much of it I still have here. Um, so there's some cobblestone. Let's see, there's some cobblestone. I don't think these have any, um, but in here I've been smelting my cobblestone and I have smooth stone. Um, I, I took uh, two or three double chests full of it to the arena that we're building. Um, I took a bunch of it back to my house. Um, I've been trying to get as many people as I can to come and grab as much as they can. I'm, I'm just tired of cobble. Um, it, it just There's so much here, but I have also been getting you know, a lot of the, you know, smooth stone, a lot of coal, gold, iron. And then once I get down to, um, you know, lower levels, you know, I'll start getting more precious, like diamond and, and stuff like that. I won't get any emerald out of here, but that's okay. Anyway, so that's the base I'm working on. So now, actually, my portal doesn't work, so we'll just do it like this. Uh, home boardwalk, I think. Yes. Let's see here, time, day. All right, so this episode is already running at almost 40 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just visit one person's place before um, I get out of here. And that's going to be the amazing monk. This guy. Whoa, where are you at? Where are you at? Hey. Hey. Where... Where is? Hey. Hey. Who do you think you are? Damn guy. Alright, so I'm going to take you over to the Amazing Monk's place and then we're going to end this episode. Um, the reason I why I'm so excited to show you his place is because he is just a phenomenal builder. He is... No offense to everybody. I mean, everybody here is great at building, but I, I definitely love um, Monk's style more than most of the other god damn it um so since obviously there's not an official release for bucket for 1.4 and so this happens a lot but luckily i do still have this set up so home monk so this is what monk is doing this is his castle um god, i'm disappointed that that's not working right now i'll have to get all these fixed so I haven't seen the inside of this too much. This is his, his storage room, apparently. You know, I can't give you all the details of what's going on here, because obviously I'm not building it. Um, but this is the castle he's working on. He's been working on it since the day he joined the server. Um, it used to be a small little house on top of a mountain. And I'll show you what it's become. It's become just a beautiful piece of piece of art on the server. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, does this go all the way up? It sure does. 
So look at this. Look. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Oh yes. I I really cannot get enough of this place. It's absolutely phenomenal what he's done. Um like I don't I definitely do not consider myself a good builder. Um and so when I've started watching him do this, because I've been fortunate enough, that's one thing, like, you know, having this server has definitely cost, I go through, no, having this server has definitely cost a lot of money, um, but when I can watch things like this take shape from nothing to what it is now, um, that is unbelievably rewarding, and it's so much fun to, to be able to watch it step by step grow into what it is now, and he's still working on it. Um, you know, he's always changing things, always adding things, and it's, I mean, it's unbelievable. So let's go down over here so you can get a, a view of the full castle. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I get lost. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Spawn. Uh, what's the difference? Wait. I think this is where I want to go. Is this the bridge? Yes, this is the bridge. What? Oh. All right. So, tower. <laughs> nice. Um. So let me get up top here, and I'll show you what this full thing looks like. Um. Like I said, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough how just phenomenal this guy is at building. Um. His attention to detail, his design ideas, it's all phenomenal. Um. Like when you see this in full. I mean, it really is just, just mind blowing. And he has, I mean, he's talked about, you know, what he plans on doing in the future, and you know, the expansion on this thing. I just cannot wait to see how it grows and and uh, what happens. And he has the sweet monk flag down there. Um, got the flags on top. Just phenomenal. Uh, well done. Well done. Um, so the last thing I'll show is I'm not sure if he's been working on this. Uh, where is it? Is it on the other side? It must be on the other side. I'm not sure if he's been still working on this because he's been doing so much on the castle itself. Whoopsies. Um, but he does have. Where is it? it? Must be on. Oh yeah, it's over here. He does have an underground um, set of areas right here. Um, the village down here is another one of those things where I'm just blown away. Um, so let's check this out. See what he got here. Castle and spawn. So he has this nice little hub here that I, I think is just... I, I don't know. There's something about the way this guy builds that just absolutely blows my mind. Like the style in it. Are these... Did I make, oh. Nope, bad idea. What are those? Those look like dispensers or furnaces, but I can't click them. Inter interesting. Um, so this is his farm area. He's got tree farm, um, sugar cane, pumpkin melon. He's got two of these wheat farms. Oh, wait. Looks like he actually he's changed to carrot and potato. Um, yeah, so he has you know, a couple of nice storage rooms over here. I mean, the lighting, I hope I don't break something, but the lighting all is wired up as well. So you can flip the switch. Look at that. Unbelievable. Now let's go over to the village. See, the village I love. Um, when he showed me the area, he didn't know what he was going to build there, and I was like, oh, dude, village, for sure. And so that's what he did. And this is the product. Da -da -da -da. Du, 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 du. Um, so yeah, this is this is goddamn phenomenal. Um, oh oh oh! Wow, drop down to five frames. What is? Why am I lagging all of a sudden here? Um, probably because all you damn guys. Hey hey, yeah, I'm talking to you. Goddamn! Look at that. Thirty. Okay, we're back up to normal. So yeah, this is wait. Did I just hear pistons? Oh, oh, okay. Um, so this is his um, villager farm. I wonder if the iron... There was an iron golem running around here that was a natural spawned one, which is always cool to see. I don't... Oh, what are you doing, asshole? 
Oh, what? Um, how did you? Oh, what? Oh, that's right. It's right in a ravine. Um, so yeah, this is his village. Um, again, I just love the way this guy builds. I've never seen. Oh, he must be working to m make this go all the way around. I haven't seen this yet. But yeah, it looks like he's going to have this wrap all the way around, which is a great idea. Um, so let's get up here and see. I believe there was one other area down here that he was working on. So let's go check that out. I'm not even sure what it is. Um, oh, okay. So it's just a, a storage room. Well, not just a storage room because it's made by Monk, goddammit. Um, so he's got some furnaces in here. That's I love the the uh, cocoa pods up there. Those are nice. Ooh, I love the way the light glitch is working on the ceiling. So that's one thing about the light glitch is that in general I hate it, but when you can use it in this way, it looks absolutely amazing. Oh, wow, he even has bricks separated out. See, I'm not even nearly this. Let's see how many he has. 1630, god damn. Um, so I'm not even this organized. Like I haven't even started using the picture frames yet. Um, to be honest, I haven't played much since 1.4 came out. Um, I've been too, you know, so damn busy. I, you know, run maintenance on the server, but I don't ever get on here. And, um, yeah. So anyways, guys, I've been rambling way too long. Um, I apologize. This is probably a very boring video, which it, it shouldn't have been since it's my first video back in, in a long time. Um, but... My whole point is that now that I have um, a great internet connection and I'm, I'm settled down, I'm I'm living again. Um, you know, anytime I I have the the available time, that was a terrible sentence. Whenever I have the available time, um, I'm gonna try to make you know as many videos as I can and try to make them consistent. Because um, I know even back when I first started. Uh, my upload rates were not consistent. I would upload two videos in one day and then wait a week and upload another video and wait three weeks and upload a video and then one video in two days in a row and it it was ridiculous. So I'm hoping I'll be able to kind of make it a little bit more um, consistent and, uh, and uh, you know, just start this whole over again. Wow, I can't talk anymore. Okay, it's three in the morning. Um, I'm going to finish this video. Um, seriously though, thank you guys for watching um, and look forward to the future because we have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, there's a lot of, on this server I didn't show you. Um, public stuff, um, individual stuff, private stuff, private parts, private people. I love you. Goodbye.